Welcome to today's session of analysis of cations of group 1. Different cations have been divided in groups 1 to 6 based on the solubility products of their salts. However, ammonium cation is placed in a separate group which is 0 because it forms soluble salts with all reagents. In the scheme of qualitative analysis of cation, lead ion is the cation of group 1. Today, we will perform tests for identification of this cation. The aim of today's experiment is analysis of group 1 cation. Cations belonging to different group, the salts are precipitated from the original solution by using the group reagents. Precipitation takes place when ionic product becomes greater than solubility product of the salt. After that, confirmatory tests are performed by the reaction of precipitates with different reagents. The group reagent from group 1 cation is dilute HCl. When it is added to original solution of the salt of lead, then white precipitate of lead chloride is formed. Refer to the screen for the equation. You can see the lead chloride is the white precipitate which is formed. The materials required for this experiment are distilled water, funnel, test tubes, test tube stand, spatula, salt, spirit lamp, test tube holder. The chemicals required are dilute HCl, potassium iodide and potassium chromate solution. For this, we take a small amount of salt in a test tube and dissolve this in water. Here we are dissolving in cold water, but in case the salt does not get dissolved, then you can heat it and dissolve it in warm water or hot water. Now we add dilute HCl to the solution. Observe what is happening. Formation of white precipitate indicates the formation of lead chloride and indicates the presence of lead ion. Now, we confirm the presence of lead ions by performing another test. We will take another test tube and filter this white PPT formed. Now, we will filter this white PPT using funnel and a test tube. We will take this white PPT.
potassium the formation of yellow ppt indicates or confirms the presence of lead ions now we'll take the other part of the solution which we have prepared by dissolving white precipitate of lead chloride in hot water and add the second reagent which is potassium chromate solution carefully notice the change the formation of yellow precipitate indicates the presence of lead the yellow precipitate is of lead chromate these two test confirms the presence of lead ions precaution for confirmatory test we should use solution of lead chloride in hot condition only otherwise in cold lead chloride will be precipitated recapitulation the presence of lead ion in the analysis of group 1 is tested by preparing original solution of lead salt in distilled water dilute hcl being group reagent is added to original solution we get white precipitate of lead chloride confirmatory test for lead ion are made by taking hot solution of lead chloride in two parts in one part we add ki solution formation of a yellow ppt shows the presence of lead ion in the second part when we add potassium dichromate solution formation of yellow precipitate confirms the presence of lead ion kindly note today we have performed test for lead ions in the known salt but if unknown salt is to be analyzed for the presence of cation then we'll follow scheme of qualitative analysis and do the test for zero group first in case it is absent then we will perform test for group 1 cation as shown today let's leave you people with few questions to ponder why is solution for cations not prepared in concentrated sulfuric acid or concentrated nitric acid another question why cannot concentrated hcl be used as a group reagent in place of dilute hcl for the detection of first group cations i hope you have enjoyed the session thank you